day four CPI Cellular Performance Institute I don't know why my nose is so red oh I have no idea no idea I'm tired um so last night I stayed overnight in the hospital um, I had all my injections and everything done yesterday uh, throughout the night they came and gave some pain medication and stuff like that um, as far as pain let's see um, so my neck and my back I had a hundred million stem cells injected into it I think there was eight injections in my lower back six in my neck area uh, including discs and facets or something up there I don't know not a doctor don't ask me to explain that um, shoulder I had 20 million injected into it in my knees I had 10 million stem cells in each one of them there was a guy there that was documenting everything uh, he did happen to document my stem cells as they were being injected into me so it's pretty cool I'll end up getting that from him uh, so all that was done I think there's a video that I post or I, I don't think I posted it because internet connection is really shoddy around here but uh, my left shoulder is the only thing that really really hurts um, the left shoulder is like killing me which is really weird because there's some guys down here that have had almost the same thing uh, one guy had his lower back he had his same left shoulder and he had two knees he just didn't do his neck and he's in excruciating pain because of his lower back um let's see here he also ended up going on like a morphine drip last night which i did not i was actually told by the doctor hey you must be feeling really good and i was like sure and he's like you used the least amount of pain medicine out of everybody last night and i was like oh okay not really by choice um, I just didn't want anything stronger than what they were giving us and at one point I did ask for more but it wasn't time for that one and so I uh, reverted to the typical suffer in silence so I was just suffering in silence uh, it was painful I was up uh, on and off throughout the night um, again yeah hopefully it's worth it you know I said I want to believe this uh, today let's see uh, we were at the hospital for a while they did a couple other like IVs and Tylenol stuff and then checked vitals again and fed us and then we went to the hospital or we or to a different hospital right to a different facility uh, we sat at this other facility and then they did the NAD and then they did stem cell um, so I had the I upped my amount and decided to go ahead and do the 90 million uh, that is done intravenously so I had that done um, that all that took forever because uh, they took a while before they started me on my NAD um, I got there at the same time as a couple other guys and they started them I'm, it doesn't matter I'm not like whining or crying or anything about it it just it took me a while um, so the NAD was I want to say like three hours maybe two two or three hours NAD it was a while um, and then when that was finished they didn't start me right away on the stem cells but it's probably because I'd added on extra and they wanted to make sure that I was getting what I paid for so once all of that was done I started stem cells probably around like 4.30 or 5 o'clock uh, and a couple other guys had come in late so uh, they were there uh, when we finished that we went to a hyperbolic uh, chamber and uh, the hyperbolic chamber you go inside and it like sucks the air out and depressurizes stuff and it's a uh, um, it's fine we were in there yesterday for 45 minutes we were in there today for another 45 minutes and tomorrow we're gonna be in there for another 45 minutes uh, 
they gave me another some pill thing to take tonight they gave me another one to take for sleeping to help me sleep um so as far as pain goes the only pain i really have is my shoulder it feels terrible like it feels worse than what it normally does when it feels really bad um so there was this um <clears throat> food they fed they fed us like breakfast and lunch well we didn't yeah we ate they fed us breakfast i woke up at the hospital today everything's starting to blur everything is starting to blur so we woke up at the hospital they had breakfast they did iv things checked up they gave us lunch um oh yeah breakfast was pancakes today the they were like a wheat pancake um i don't know i just ate the fruit and that was it and then lunch what was lunch today lunch was like it was good it was some meat but by the time lunch hit and I had all the other medication and stuff that they were giving me, I just wasn't hungry. I didn't take any other pain meds, though. Um, they were giving other people uh, pain meds with their IVs and stuff like that. And I was like, meh. I was like, it's just a little bit of pain, so I can deal with it. So I didn't even take any more pain medication. Um, I did take, they gave us some pills. I took a pill. Um, probably maybe about an hour before we went in the hyperbolic chamber um and uh now it's hitting me uh really well except i think this one expires around one or two in the morning um i don't know what they are i don't know they just gave it and said take this eight hours apart from each other uh and then tomorrow they're gonna pick us up at eight thirty. And then we're going to go back to the facility. I think there's another IV of probably NAD. And then uh, I don't know, the, hyper, the hyperbolic chamber. And then I think we leave. Um, I'm one of the last people on the list. So I think they're going to pick me up. I saw their list. Uh, the, all, all the people here are really cool. So I saw the list. Um, I was in the last group, the 4.30 group, so they're going to drive us back to, like, San, San Diego around 4.30 at night. Where I'll then check into the Sheraton, the Sheraton, and uh, then I'll have to make sure the shuttle will pick me up early in the morning to get me to the airport so I can get home. So, this is day four with, I don't know what it's called. What's that called when I give you a... Uh, oh, it's a sneak preview into the day five. So, slight review of day three, and then preview of day five. While wow, we did a cover of day four, not really eventful today. Um, not at all. Not really in a lot of pain. Um, I mean, my shoulder, like I said, it is, but the rest of me, it's just I feel real, like. I, I want to say like stiff but it's not even stiff like my knees feel swollen um not pain swollen just swollen my back feels like it's swollen my neck is my neck I mean it's not uh there's still pain in my lower back but it feels it's just like feels like normal pain um there's a little less pain in my neck than what was normally there but it also feels like like the kind of the stiff swollen feeling it, it's hard to explain um yeah i would say so the biggest change is my shoulder just hurts a lot more uh then the next would be my knees and then my neck isn't quite as painful as it usually is uh however i know it didn't just heal because of a stem cell uh, being in there already it doesn't stem cells don't work that quick so I don't want to mislead anybody by saying oh my neck feels so much better and only had a treatment no no um, maybe at some point whenever they did it maybe it alleviated some pressure or something from the disc um, by them jabbing it with a needle either way my neck 
<clears throat> I'm not taking it for granted, but it just isn't hurting as much as it normally does. Um, so that's a good thing. My lower back, pretty much the same. Yeah, that's it. That's all I got. This is, like I said, day four. And the days really start to blend, especially when they put you under, like day three, when they put me under. Um, oh, it was really cool. I got to see the video. Um, I said like a guy took a video, so he showed it to me. Um, it was funny because we were laughing about it because uh, it looks like I'm totally out. And I remember because they put the oxygen on me and I'm totally out, right? And, uh, and it, well, the doctor said something like, oh, are you starting to feel it? And I said, I said yes, doctor, I'm starting to feel um, a little bit. <clears throat> because it was a little bit. I remember feeling like just a little bit and then I don't remember anything. So he has this video and I'm laying there uh, on the hospital bed. Looks like I'm totally out. I'm just like mouth open, like, like all this. And uh, <clears throat> he's watching in one of the first, in, or they did my shoulder. And um, so I saw that injection and that was just a big needle getting driven into the shoulder and I was like oh man and he was like yeah he's like that was a big needle going into your shoulder he's like you didn't move you didn't flinch nothing nothing at all he's like and then you know we were looking where he skips ahead a little bit he's like then they go to your knee and they went over to my left knee and they went to jab the left knee and I moved and I put my hand down like 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 I'm blocking them and I was like uh-uh uh-uh or something and uh and they were like it's okay it's okay calm down and uh, I was like, all right. And so <laughs> and then they just finished injecting that knee and then the other knee. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's so funny. It's funny to me. Um, that's it. So I'll keep you updated uh, tomorrow. I'll try to post another one or at least I'll post. I'll record the end of my day tomorrow so that it's still fresh in my mind uh, if I can't uploaded or anything, I'll get it uploaded. So, bye.